This is actually our 17th annual uh, year for the fair and I've been lucky to be a part of it for over 10 years. This year, the Multicultural Fair will take place on Thursday, March 29th from 10 to 3 in the Deponio Room Vista Tech Center. I think I'm a little bit biased for saying this, but because I coordinate the country tables at the fair, this is by far my favorite part because students who have never had an opportunity to travel to another foreign country really get an opportunity to engage with some of the cultural artifacts, uh, some of the food sampling, and just general knowledge about that country that they stop at the table to visit. It's evolved in a number of different ways. Uh, for example, on a yearly basis, we do have some tables, some country tables that return on a regular basis, but we also have an influx of students who come from other countries who also like to showcase their country during a table. So we get a lot of diversity in the kinds of tables that we get. In addition to that, with performances, uh, again, we do have some repeat performances that take part in the fair, but we also have new performances and new exhibits uh, in other other cultural artifacts that we're able to showcase year after year. Uh, there are many popular attractions. I think number one, the food is definitely one of them. Uh, we're very lucky to get support from area and community vendors who supply food for us, uh, all kinds of food, ethnic food, non-ethnic food for the day of the fair. But also our entertainment package is pretty impressive. This year we have uh, a new exhibit called Hateful Things that uh, Todd Stowell, Director of Student Activities, will be co-sponsoring to bring to the Multicultural Fair and um, that's, that's a new exhibit. The Hateful Things exhibit is actually a repeat exhibit that we've had at Schoolcraft College uh, many years ago, but it, it's an ongoing uh, cultural exhibit by David Pilgrim from Ferris State University, and it's a curated exhibit of imagery collected historically of very uh, racist and hateful representations, and some of it spans uh, negative portrayals and stereotypes of African American culture, but other of the memorabilia that's included in the Hateful Things exhibit include things like stereotypes against Asian Americans, uh, Jewish people, religious um, defamation. There are all kinds of uh, hateful memorabilia that make up this, this exhibit, and the purpose of it, more importantly, is to highlight to students uh, how damaging it is when we do buy into stereotypes and we also perpetuate them on a cultural level. Sure, this is one of our repeat performances that is very popular with students, staff, and community. It is the Marcus Garvey drum, uh, African drum group that comes and performs, and it's a very lively entertainment uh, segment during our performance lineup. Well, diversity uh, and understand a cultural awareness, understanding of diversity is extremely important, especially as we engage within a globalized world and we also see an influx of immigrants coming to the nation. It's important to not only be able to get along, but also to have a, a deeper appreciation of different cultures and values and finding ways to integrate them into uh, mainstream American culture. I host the grease table. Uh, my, my cousin's son often is the one that is the face of the table. He engages with a lot of, uh, of the community members and the students who come through. But the part that's most engaging and exciting for me is just the look on a student's face when they ask you, tell me something about your culture. Maybe it's a language piece. They want to know how to, how to say a common greeting uh, in the culture of origin that the uh, table participants uh, belong to or when they ask information about you know the food the customs the rituals the traditions I think that is one of the most exciting moments when students have this moment where they realize that there is a world beyond uh, the United States and and that's an extremely valuable experience uh, well again we always uh, feature the fair in the month of March usually the tail end uh, there's also a lot of vendors that I encourage students to engage with so for example Schoolcraft College massage therapy program offers free massages for students and community members there is uh, a plethora of free food sampling that you can take part in and you can also get to know some of the area organizations that highlight multicultural education uh, also some of our four-year colleges are partners so Wayne State 
State University, for example, you'll see quite a presence uh, with their global studies program and their international learning programming that they have, and also some of the stuff that we do uniquely here. So we will be featuring the international learning support team. Uh, we'll be at the Multicultural Fair. ESL will be represented, the International Institute, the Confucius Institute. I think there's lots of things that uh, students can take advantage of while attending the fair.